shine on me, shine on me, let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Shine on me, Lord, let it shine on me. I wonder if the lighthouse will shine. come before you, I want to greet you with the holy word of peace. Thanking and praising God for allowing us to meet again on this first Sunday in 2009. Thanking and praising God for allowing us to still be in the land of the living and knowing that since we are alive, that is a guarantee that there is still work for us preparatory to do. There's still something that God desires us to do. There's still more work for us to do in his kingdom. Let us not waste time this year. Let us, as the new uh, presidential administration keeps saying, hit the ground running. Let us do likewise. Let us hit the ground running in 2009. Just want to talk to you a few minutes from the subject, 2009 the year of the inward divine 2009 the year of the inward divine that little catchphrase was revealed to me uh, several weeks ago and I would like to first break that down for you and then I want to give you just two verses of scripture to back it up and to give us a basis for the remainder of the year. The word inward seems like a simple word. It means inside, inner. But in studying uh, the life of Malcolm X and how he used to read the dictionary, I've been kind of doing that myself. And when you start to look at words and what they mean, you look at other words, similar words, a broader understanding comes to you. I want to try to do a little bit of that right now to show you just how deep this phrase, the year of the inward divine, can really become. Now, of course, divine is referring to or relating to God or a deity. We here are referring to God, the great architect of the universe, the infinite intelligent spirit, the God who is here, there and everywhere at the same time, in the same respect. The God that dwells within us. The inward divine. This is the year of the inward divine. And the word inward simply means situated on the inside. Toward the inner being. So in this year, we need to focus on the God that is inside. When God made us, according to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, it says, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. God placed himself in us. And now it is our duty with the free will that he gave us. That is, we can do whatever we choose to do. But let us choose to live the life that he wants us to live. Let us choose to go according to his will. The only way we can do so is to become acquainted with the inward divine. If we keep looking at God as some old man with a long white beard up in the sky somewhere, we can't know that God. But we can know the God that we see in ourselves. We can know the God that we see 
and our brothers and our sisters every day. And then two other related words to inward are inner and inside. And one meaning of inner is near a center, especially of influence. During this year, let us pay close attention to who or what is influencing us. Too many of us are allowing our so-called friends to influence us. Certain public officials are influencing us. And we don't have any idea what we're thinking or why we think the way we think or where we get our views and our outlooks from. We have to stop and take the time to examine our own thoughts, examine our own beliefs. Why do you believe what you believe? Why are you in the condition you are in? The only way you can truly answer these questions is to learn about the inward divine. Why do you think the way you think? We have to start examining our thoughts. We have to start examining our belief systems that we might overcome the ill conditions that the world has placed upon us. Another definition of inner is of or relating to the mind or spirit. And that leads us to a, a definition of inside which means a position of power trust or familiarity where is our power structure who has power over us now I'm not talking about the government or your child your parents no who has ultimate power and control over you and your thoughts the answer is pretty simple the answer is you you have power over yourself you have the greatest power over yourself you have control of your own life. I don't care what's going on or who says what or who says otherwise. You have power over yourself. You have the power. I don't care if you're locked up in a prison cell, in a five by five cell, so short that you can't even lay down at night, crunched in the corner, dark, cold. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be free. Your thoughts can be amazing. Your imagination can flourish. Your creative power can circulate. No matter where you are in life. And you can overcome your condition. But you have to become acquainted with the inward divine. This year. I believe this is what the spirit is saying. This year. We have to take the time out more than we ever have before to really learn about the inward divine to really understand that yes God that great God of the universe is in us the sooner we realize that the sooner the world will change for the better stay with me I'm going to pick this up in the next video